What's going on guys? My name is Double Holson and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize and record your gameplay footage using Steam Deck's in-game recorder. This is a feature that was introduced in SteamOS 3.5. If you scroll down in your settings, you'll see this option that says Game Recording, which now gives you the ability to record your games in the background, record manually. What's cool about this is it's all baked into the Steam Deck. You don't need any more plugins. You can even record your mic audio. So what we're going to first off do is if you go into Record Background, which only records stuff in the background unless you manually hit the Record button, Every time you launch a game, it will automatically start recording. You can actually set things for game-specific settings. So for me, when it comes to the length, I have mine set on quality high at 25 minutes, but you can change this to be whatever you want. I think that by default, it's set at 120 minutes or 60 minutes or 90 minutes. And it really depends because on the right of this, you're going to see your disk size. So depending on what you prefer, whether you want higher quality and no quality loss or higher bit rate, you can do that. And what's cool about this is depending on the game resolution, you're going to automatically be recording in that resolution. So if you're running games at 720p, which everybody knows that the default resolution for most games on the Steam Deck is 720p or 800p because of the screen size. Running games at 4K is almost not even a thing you can do unless it's an uh, indie game. But the bit rates right there, you can set your lowest bit rate, which is going to be the most compression but the least space. I've learned that high and default or medium is probably going to be the best route for this. What's really cool is you can even set some very game specific settings. For instance, say by some chance I'm playing Resident Evil 4. I may not want to do any sort of recordings. I may only want to record five minutes because I'm running this game at 1080p on my display. I just don't want to use all my space. I can set these parameters as a game-specific thing, which is actually cool. When you go down here, you can change your maximum frame rate to 60 or 30. I would do 30 if you don't want your storage space to get used too much. And you can also record your microphone. But I want to tell you why I'm titling the video properly. If you play your game and say you hit a game, let's just click a game real quickly that I can demonstrate this real fast. As you guys can see, once you load the game, you'll see this red little icon on top and it will automatically record your footage. What you'll see here is a little recording sign. And then you can even hit this and you can stop recording or start a manual recording and it will save it into the manual category over the background recordings. So we're not going to actually do this. I just wanted to show you that it's practically easy to set it up. There's nothing you need to do. But there is an issue. If you go into your media and you want to export a game and you try to export something and you really want it to do more than a minute, right? I want to show you something real quickly. A minute and 30 seconds of this clip. You can choose to save your clipped media, but you can also choose to send it to other devices. And you'll notice that certain things are grayed out because of how long the clips are. The biggest issue here is how do you get this footage from your desktop to YouTube. So for example, let's say we record this stuff right here and we just took a huge chunk of the video. You'll notice that you can't really do a whole lot. You could save it to media and I would totally say go for it since that's probably the best way to do this. But now in order to get this onto your computer or your phone or other devices, you're going to want to switch over to desktop mode. So I'm swapping over to desktop mode and Steam's going to load up. We're going to hit Steam, view, and then go into recordings and screenshots. 
Here's where you can see your clips. Take this clip and you can share this clip for exporting these clips to YouTube, Google Drive, or wherever you're, you're gonna do it. You're gonna hit this. It's gonna have the same options on where you're gonna like your bitrate, your codec. You can do H.264. It gives you an idea how much size there's gonna be. And then you can basically export the video and it will export for you. You're going to be able to take this video, go into your videos folder, which is right here. You are going to be able to do whatever you want with this video. You can transfer it to your phone through a external drive, like a flash SD, and not a flash SD, but a SSD external drive. You can upload it directly to YouTube, log into your YouTube account and upload it. You can do pretty much anything from the desktop mode as this is a real computer. Generally, I just wanted to show you guys that's how you get everything set up to your Steam Deck. I hope this video is a help. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.